holler if you hear me, and welcome to this week's edition of Ladies, 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 because don't you just love how when it comes to companies like Games Workshop and the people they hire in any capacity, if it's people that just simply answer phones over at their offices to anybody involved in publicity, whether through the internet or through social media or through actual real like physical promotion events, or the people they hire as artists or writers. Now, we've seen how they seem to love hiring writers who are a bunch of mentally unstable jack and apes who make everything into a rant about their own narcissistic rage, which involves around their quote-unquote personal politics, which are about as personal to them as uh, having a name tag is to working in a big tech firm, because really they're a bunch of collectivists, know-nothings, and all of their quote-unquote personal politics that they live for are uh, dictated to them entirely by major corporations or late-night talk show losers whose ratings are so terrible, they make WCW in 2001 look like the series finale of MASH, and yet they continue to convince themselves that they are the good guys and the good people. And now it seems even in the world of simply the artists they hire, Games Workshop really knows how to pick them when it comes to the most deranged, entitled, two-faced, fake-tolerant, uh, but blood-hungry, sociopathic losers in all of the great white way of this world. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Now we all know about how the likes of Kotaku is the video game equivalent of fake news argons that are getting what they deserve with firing people and firing people over and over. Like the idiot that did the article talking about how Stellar Blade is the best when its lead character is dressed like she is in an Islamic relationship. Well, 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 that guy got fired, but now somebody who's still around, unfortunately, Alyssa Mercanti, she was now going off and around on Twitter gloating about how she is stalking a YouTuber for the crime of acknowledging that there is such a thing as a culture war and that losers like her are empty-headed bents that are trying to make sure that the world suffers for them being insecure about how ugly they are as a person and how ugly they look inside and out. And then, 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 guess what happens? In doing all this, a artist who works for both uh, Games Workshop on Warhammer and also uh, for Match of the Gathering over at Wizards of the Coast, he chimed in with his uh, wooden two cents to say that, oh well, oh well, oh well, for a man who's supposed to be so progressive and so tolerant, well, both his political views and his actual, you know, actions when it comes to dealing with people with different worldviews are about as progressive and about as nonviolent as uh, a, a pick a dinosaur like this one right here. Yeah, because what was his response to jumping in on Elizabeth Mercanti's little self-aggrandizing play of, I'm going to stalk a YouTuber's wife and mother to try and manufacture evidence and accuse them of things that are more manufactured and fake than anything Stormy Daniels has had to say for about the last decade. And then this loser artist comes in to tell them that, oh, well, all these people, we should have their girlfriends or significant others in general, girlfriends, wives, whatever, mothers, find where they all are, track them all down, and uh, string them up. Because nothing says you are one of the quote-unquote good guys, that you're on the quote-unquote right side of history. Although, remember, too, these type of disgusting latte liberals, history is whatever they say it is, so no wonder these are the type of people that so long as you uh, give, or give them orders and construction on what to think or what to say about anybody, they'll spontaneously start believing whatever they're told about Christopher Columbus by Jimmy Kimmel, who is less of a historical education than anybody in Hollywood that's ever directed and historical epic, and also Neil deGrasse Tyson, the man who runs an observatory that has been caught manufacturing quotes and statistics in order to justify his uh, rage against religion. But of course, remember, these are the same people that don't want Aaron Rodgers speaking uh, about any sort of subject, but they'll gladly get their information handed to them by Jimmy Kimmel, a man so phenomenally unpopular and worthless and evil and talentless that, well, I already mentioned about his non-existent ratings, the kind of ratings that Stephen Colbert looks at to make sure he feels better about how he has no audience. And, well, so much for how Disney's doing so great. Well, then why is it that even Kimmel himself now is admitting that one of the ways that Disney is uh, downsizing their incon incontrovertible debt is that they're not going to be renewing his contract, so that means he won't be able to afford his adrenochrome and also all of the blackmail network of people to keep him from getting me too'd. So that's going to be fun. Much like what I already know about this idiotic artist, 
who probably is using a metric ton of AI while at the same time joining in on any kind of witch hunt against anybody that would use AI in their artwork from the same hypocritical people that want to go and make sure that actual paying customers of Warhammer, you know, the kind of guys who dedicate their personal time to lovingly painting by hand their little figures. It doesn't matter if it's an of if it's a space marine, if it's an adeptus custody, if it's an orc, they will go and whether for you to see on their social media the actual result of doing it step by step or the finished results of all their labor of love on social media to by hand go and make sure that these models they have one at a time will be lovingly brought to life via paint, whether they use the old fashioned Alberto Vargas style uh, airbrush paint or if they do it with those little brushes by hand and probably they're so great at it that they already have their own color schemes and their own ways of painting these things that far outdo anything that White Dwarf magazine has ever, 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 ever gone and displayed. But of course, we've got this guy, this jack and ape who thinks that waving a plastic pen over a drawing tablet means as an artist. So of course, between that and his desire to see women get strung up while wanting to prove that he is one of the good guys who wants to simply hold people accountable, which is uh, the buzzword excuse for when woke sociopaths want to see people get violently punished for daring to disagree with their Starbucks socialist worldview. And then I can't help but notice that if anybody online goes and and uh, calls this guy out like exactly what uh, that umbrella guy did. And then Grums also came in to say all this. His idiotic excuse is to say that you're launching a hate mob at me. No, no, it's actual living, breathing human beings telling you how much of a blood-hungry, duplicitous piece of scum that you are. You might as well be a game journalist. And then, of course, when he goes and calls it out like that, in he tries to say, oh, no, you're launching a hate mob at me. No, that's what people on the left always do because leftists like Alyssa Mercanti or this artist or worthless writers like Cooper or Mike Brooks, they are the type that cannot function without their worldview constantly being fed back to them and also having an army of five crazy pink-haired freaks who have 27 different sock accounts on every major social media platform constantly retweeting and circulating everything they do. And it turns out, oh wait, when you actually break it down, they wind up having absolutely positively no influence or no real power over anything without them being able to bully a company while being the unpaid foot soldiers of your companies like your Vanguard and your BlackRock and all that. But of course, that's all actually been proven with the likes of how the backtracking of Sony was all done in the name of wanting to appease actual customers like those that don't want to keep playing hell divers with a PSN network. And all of your tolerant, open-minded, open-hearted people like this Warhammer artist, their only response is to, well, when they threaten to string up women while telling you how tolerant and open-minded they are, their only response is to, in the wake of calling out their brain-dead ad hominem attack, is to then accuse you of what they are already guilty of. But that is the woke way of dealing with actually getting anything like people holding you accountable, actual people on social media who actually have confirmed lives that will go and with all of those people downvoting or uh, uh, downvoting or of course let's not just forget uh acknowledging that you are a deranged two-faced loser your only response is to go and say that they are guilty of what you know you would do because you have no ability to think or act in any other way other than about yourself so you know that you have bot farms or the only people that would follow you and agree with you so then you uh, respond to everything that reminds you that your politics are rote blood hungry violent stupid and never succeed in any country that's implemented them Wet, including the Warhammer sphere, your only response is to then think that everybody else that you don't like is always doing that. It is uh, pretty much means that for how much the left hates movies like the like uh, Joker or like Fight Club, well, mentally ill characters like that that are entitled frustrated losers who live to violently lash out against all their frustrations in life because they are such failures as human beings. The reason that those type of fake tolerant people like this Warhammer artist hate them is because they relate to them, but unfortunately those those protagonists are straight white people just like them, so it just reminds them of how much of a deranged mental patient they are who deserves the utmost punishment under the court of law. 
but, 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 this is all stuff we already know. And, well, even though I'm not the type of person, unlike Stephen Colbert, who just lives to tell a bunch of idiotic people what they already know or already want to hear, well, it's this is a good time to just simply have a nice little reminder. And you get these reminders seemingly every other day now in the world of Warhammer, when it turns out that it wasn't, it's not just only recently going under the wake of a woke hammer, it turns out it's been woke hammer for a while, and it's not my opinion, I know I'm right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe so my channel can reach 10,000 subscribers this year. Don't forget to become a member today. And also shop at my art store at the second link below where besides the artwork you can buy, you can also commission me for artwork and you can also donate. When you donate my store, that money goes directly to me. And if you want to buy or commission me from outside of America, just make your payment as a donation. So until then, felines, remember the Warhammer battle is only beginning. So slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.